In an article written in 1994, speaking about revitalized Islam, and also in the same year, in the Atlantic Monthly, um, Tarabi's Law, The Cross and the Crescent, Islam in the West, many of the important journals in the 90s have written articles concerning the great changes going on in the world. And in this article in The Economist, we find that they were dividing up the world in the 21st century into three camps. This is how people who think in terms of the political world order are thinking. They divided the world into three camps. The first is the West. And now in the West, Russia is included in the West. Before Russia, the Soviet Union was the bad guys. And it was the, the Eastern Bloc and the Western Bloc, the Cold War was on, but now the Ber Berlin Wall is down and the Russians are eating at McDonald's. And it's changed. So they are part of the West. So that's number one. Two was the, the countries of the Pacific Rim. The countries in the Pacific Rim, Confucian-based cultures, the Asian countries, the growing economies. This is considered to be the second world power in the 21st century. And the third, they said, was the world of Islam. And that's very interesting because they didn't say Islamic fundamentalists. They didn't talk about a little cell group out to destroy the world. They were, they were trying to be more uh, intellectual. They looked at the whole situation and they said, the world of Islam. And when they discussed this article, and also when Bernard Lewis, one of the uh, famous ex so-called experts of the West on Islam, uh, spoke about this in the Atlantic Monthly, um, they looked at Islam not in terms of individuals, not in terms of a little religious cult, but they looked at Islam as a civilization. Because Islam is really a civilization. And we know that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us, inna deena indallahi al-Islam, that surely the way of life with Allah is al-Islam, he is not speaking about a religion in the religious Western narrow sense, but a way of life that includes your economic uh, uh, situation, your political life, your social life, your personal life, your collective life. All spheres of your existence come within your way of life. And so they recognize, even though some Muslims don't yet recognize, that Islam is a way of life. And no doubt, Islam has had a powerful influence on the world.